it's me and Kana and welcome to a weekly reading vlog the first one of 2022 it is monday january 17th it is about one o'clock i just got home from physical therapy and running errands with my mom but like i said it's monday i don't work today so that's good um i am currently reading these violent our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. This is the second book in the These Violent Delights trilogy and I absolutely freaking love it. I'm only like 70 pages in and I started the ebook um, on my Kindle for When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord, which is one out of my most anticipated re uh, releases of 2022. I'll link that somewhere on the eye. But I just wanted to say hello and welcome to this week's weekly reading vlog. Right now, I'm doing my nails right now because I'm trying to grow up my natural nails but yes we have new hair i went to the salon saturday and started going blonder but hello guys i've missed vlogging and let's hope i finish a couple things This has been processing for 30 minutes and I'm sick of it. But schedule to go up Thursday. Okay, so it is 6.12 now. I'm relaxing because I have to work tomorrow. So I'm reading When You Get a Chance, When You Get the Chance by Emily Lord. This is on my new Kendo. We love it. And we basically follow a girl named Millie and this one, she's like, 16 17 years old she lives in new york and she doesn't know her mom from what it's told in the first couple chapters i'm on like chapter four she was left on her dad's doorstep when she was like a couple days old and she was raised by her dad and her aunt and she has no idea who her mom is and she loves acting she wants to be a broadway star and she secretly behind her dad's back applies to this um school that's like you finish your senior year then and you can go to college there and her dad's like no you can't do it so on her aunt's computer when she was looking at it someone emails her aunt like an old like live journal from like back in the early 2000s and it's around the time that she was conceived and born and it's photos of her dad and like entries from her dad explaining like about two girls at this point but the like synopsis from the book is that there's three possible three different possibilities of like who can be her mom and her friend's trying to help her out and her friend's like hey i can look them up and she's like she sounds so sad she's like my mom never wanted me like it's fine so that's where i'm at with this i'm i think literally like i'm six percent of the way through the book i'm gonna read more of that later i think i'm gonna read that like before i go to bed for our violent end by chloe gong i am on chapter 9 page 78 i'm enjoying it they're both so violent especially if you read the first book and you know how that ended with the cliffhanger um yeah that's how that one is so i'm gonna read i don't know which one i want to read like i want to still continue reading when you get the chance but our violent ends is on my tbr for this month so i need to read that but i'll try to update you guys before i go to bed Good morning everyone and a very happy Tuesday to you all. It's 44. I just wake, woke up and I'm making my coffee now. So we can all chat while I make my coffee. Last night I got to page 138 in these violent our violent ends. And basically the premise of this book is that you know someone is a monster again wreaking havoc through Shanghai after in the first book. It was supposed to be Romeo and um and Juliet who supposedly like ended the monster, but now that it's back, you know the White Lotus Flowers and the Scarlet Gang have to like team up with one another now again to try to end the monster. But you know, and the okay, so spoilers if you haven't read it, but if you have, you know, supposedly Juliet killed um. Roma's cousin she didn't she nursed him back to health he's like hiding away being like a vigilante watching out for Benedict 
um, it is a Romeo and Juliet inspired retelling. So that um, projects for that. Where I ended off, basically a member of the Scarlet Gang who's like affiliated with them had made a comment to Juliet and was like, well, people in the city and in the gang would trust your cousin more than they would trust you because you're running around with the enemy. You have your head stuck in a cloud, shit like that. She had a pissed. It was amazing. Um, I'm on page, I think I said 130, 128, something like that. And then for when you get the chance, I'm like 11, 12% of the way through. Um, Millie is still kind of like annoying. She is still upset her dad won't let her go to like the, um, to the, like pre-college and shit. And like, I feel like it has to do with the backstory of who her mother is because she had made like a big deal and was like if my mom was here my mom would let you go and he's like you're absolutely right she would let you go i'm not your mother though so i'm not gonna let you go and so now she wants to find out who her mother is and one of them is an on again offering an like assistant to a big time like production company and on um, the times that she's not with them she's like in her own place so that's where i left off like she's meeting this woman who could potentially be her mother but like i said in the previous clips there's like three possible people and it's just kind of sad because normally it's like always the other way around like a person is raised by their mother not knowing their father but i like how in this book it's swapped of the girl was raised by her father not knowing who her mother is so that's with this i work today from 11 30 to 4 which i'm really happy about because i have an early day um i'm not leaving until like around maybe 10 10 30 so maybe i can get some reading done but i am very tired and i also want to play animal crossing because i've been playing animal crossing since quarantine when it came out like on the nintendo switch Lite. but because i had stopped paying, playing it like consistently back to back for one another like i've like lost so much shit so i restarted my entire fucking animal crossing and i'm actually very happy that i did because now i get to redo everything i have cherries oranges and apples and then those like coconut shits already planted and it's just like i'm i'm not missing out so that's all for this update i will try to update you guys when i get back from work hopefully like around five so bye guys Wednesday. Ignore the night. Uh, ignore the noise. I'm brewing coffee right now. But I'm so freaking tired. So it is Wednesday the 19th. It is literally about to be like 9 o'clock and I just woke up. I think the last you saw of me yesterday was me reading on my Kindle, which is fine. At least I updated it like once. I only read um, When You Get the Chance. 
I don't I, I want to say now I'm like 30% of the way through the book and Millie now has met the first person who she believes is her mom or could possibly be her mom and while she's there she runs into Oliver who's one of like her enemies from school and the girl thinks that she's there to interview for um an internship and Millie's gonna say no but then she sees like Oliver's reaction as well she's like you know what yeah like I'm here to interview for this and it like sets it off because she's like now I have two weeks before the boss makes a decision between me and him I can get to know this woman I can see if she truly is my mom and all that which is like so adorable today I go to work at 4 30 I have to do some homework today because I'm doing strictly like online school online school where I'm at uh, where I go it's everything to do Wednesday night by midnight and you have to reply to people by Sunday night which is okay so I'm gonna brew some coffee and hop on my computer I also want to edit my unhaul and schedule that for Saturday because I have my unboxing scheduled for Thursday which should be fine and then I'm gonna read, I think I wanna read some of Our Vine That Ends because that just like, I can read that so freaking quickly. Like in my head, it feels like I'm reading like 100 pages, but when in reality, I'm only reading like 50, but that's fine. I freaking love that series, no matter what anyone says. Um, I have some packages coming today. I ordered a new wallet from Michael Kors and I ordered four new Funko Pops. So when those Funko Pops come, if they come before I go to work, then I'll unbox them if they come like after I'm at work. Then when I come home and I change into some regular clothes because I'm not gonna show myself with my work uniform, then I'll show that. But yeah, coffee's almost done burning, guys. So I'll see you soon. So, a couple hours later, um, it's what time is it? One thirteen. My packages just came, and I'm trying to like. The, I believe this is my wallet. Let's see. Yes. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, it is. I bought a Michael Kors wallet literally on sale for like 40 bucks. And it's this cute little one. So it's kind of not saying I'm bougie or anything because I'm not. I just like what I like. And sometimes it's expensive. Oh, I love how they wrapped it like this. So it comes with a little here thing. So you have this in the back. You put money, cards, whatever. Well, this is the front. Pop it open. And then you have slots for cards in here and you can put cash in here. But then you also have this. That's attachable. And you can put more cards in here. So freaking cute. It retails originally for like one something I wanna say. I don't know. All I know is I paid like 40 fucking bucks for it. And it's so fucking cute. Now, for this big one. It's a Funko Pop unboxing, guys. Ooh. This has my four Funko Pops in it. Okay? Okay. So. Scissors. Again, I bought four. I bought a Bell one, a Luna one, and then I bought two from Encanto because I freaking love that movie and i can't wait for the other ones to be released because i want to own the nope still the scissors why did i put them away i want to own the entire freaking collection oh oh this package done it's a nice so productive okay so i think two are in here i hope two are in here Okay, so this one. Okay, so we have Luna, and she's in her little like lion headgear. She is so cute. I love her. Luna is one of my favorites. And then we have Isabella Madrigal from Encanto. She, I wish they would have done her not in the beginning, but towards the end when she finds out her true self. Now these two. We got Mirabel. I just love her. I love her glasses. Oh, I love her. 
And then we have Belle holding up the enchanted mirror with the beast in it. Belle is one of my favorite freaking Disney princesses. But yeah, so those are my packages that came. See you guys. All right, guys. So happy Thursday. It's about like 11. <laughs> <clears throat> 15 right now. I think the last I updated you guys is when I got my Funko Pops. Which I'm really happy about. I didn't read much yesterday. Because I had so much school work I needed to do. And then, after I had work, I work kind of drained me. So, I didn't read that much. I go to work at 4 today. I do plan on right now reading some of our violent ends because I haven't been reading that as much as I've been reading um, when you get the chance, which is why at times I hate reading two books at once because I get so distracted and I start reading one more than the other and it's just like, so yeah, it's Thursday the 20th, go to work at four today, which is good. So there's a hate to love relationship when I have night shifts because I feel like my days are rushed. Um yeah i'm just relaxing right now took a shower i ate hey, so now i'm gonna read okay i can update you guys later okay so hi guys happy friday it's 9 42 i just woke up and i'm in my living room right now because i don't want to look my blood right now so it's friday um last i updated you guys i said i was gonna read some of our violent ends and i did i'm on page 178 so i literally read like 40 pages yesterday before i went to work but i love it so right now juliet and roma are trying to figure out like who is trying to scam these people um with the flyers like oh get vaccinated you know it's still here so they go to this town and they basically they like get bribed by the person who is like selling those papers to um because they just want the money he's like he's like i honestly he's like i don't want to be careful he's like i just i need the money because you know the times that we are in um so he gives her, them the vial for whatever money that they um they are promised and then since they have nowhere to go they end up going to a whorehouse to um to try to find like lodging for the night and then they like so we both give both points of view like he wants to reach out he wants to be with her and he like it just hates the fact that she supposedly like killed his cousin he still doesn't know that his cousin's alive and yeah like it just it like breaks my heart but then like julia wakes up someone's in her room she doesn't know how she didn't hear them but she takes one of the vials she still has the second one roma is like you set this up like you're the one who wanted us to come here you're the one who wanted you know to hold on to everything like are you sure you're not holding out for me and she just gets upset and then you know we also follow juliet's cousins in this and her two cousins kathleen and rosalind um used to be triplets and then you know their sister died because she was always sick and now rosalind is keeping stuff from kathleen and she's getting like very hurt from it which is understandable because they've always been with one another but it's like it's cute to see that like siblings right there i can't find my kendall and i had it like wednesday when i was reading on it and i have no idea where the hell i put it and it's a brand new kendall and it's just like how do i lose this so i go to work at four today um so i'm gonna be watching some youtube videos right now because i have a lot i need to catch up on and i'm gonna be playing my switch and then i'm gonna drink my coffee and read before i have to put some laundry away so i will try and update you guys before i go to work
so it's 11 10 right now i found my candle guys it was in my purse i'm not gonna do it i am now let's see i'm on chapter 23 page 220 so i read about like 40 pages and so now the blackmailer is messing with both gangs like they both sent a message to both gangs saying that the other gang was the one behind all the black message um blackmailing like they're the one doing all this they're the ones who after so tyler who is one of juliet's cousin like the only male cousin attacked you know the white flowers and he basically set fire to a house that had nothing but kids in it and julia got like really emotional about that she's like that's not what we do we don't go after kids kids are innocent which i agree if you ever argue with someone and they have kids you leave the kids out of it in my opinion um and right now where i left off julia is at the temple with her mom her mom's meeting with someone and she sees roma's little sister there and when she realizes like they're a couple streets over like they're gonna have to pass the temple they're gonna see them a fight's gonna break out she runs outside she saves her cousin from getting killed which i think I'm, was like so shocking because she can't stand her her cousin in all honesty so i was really shocked that she wanted to um to save him and then dimitri who is the bond keeps like right hand like who roma's father treats like a son more than roma he tries to get her and then she runs she gets away and she sees roma coming after her and she wants to talk to him privately but after what had happened she knows like he's not going to so his sister had like snuck into the temple because she just didn't want to deal with um like the deaths anymore and all of that she grabs her, <laughs> his sister and she's like listen i'm not gonna hurt you but i'm gonna use you as a bribe to get your brother somewhere because i need to talk to him without him trying to kill me and he won't kill me when you're there and her his sister is just like okay like it's fine which i found fucking hilarious so now that i have my kindle i think i'm gonna read some of that i think let's check i am i'm only 15 percent of the way through with this book like i really thought it was longer like that's my issue with reading ebooks sometimes is i think i'm so far ahead in the book when in reality like i'm not so yeah here's another update maybe you guys can get another one all right hello everyone happy sunday what time is it sir <laughs> you said not to say nothing is it, what time is it 9.02. It's 9.02. I didn't update you guys yesterday because I worked 12 hours at my job yesterday and I only worked this morning. But I almost forgot to update you guys. So yeah, it's 9.20. Let's talk updates. Oh, damn it. I am on chapter 23 still, page 222. I haven't read since Friday. I do plan on reading some after I finish taking off my dipped nail polish on this hand because it's been like two hours and i don't feel like wasting another two hours on this hand for when you get the chance i am officially 27 percent of the way through which i'm very very happy about um i think i'm gonna end the vlog tomorrow and i'm not even gonna push myself to finish a book because like i had posted and my reading goes for 2022 which i'll link somewhere on the eye i don't feel like forcing myself to finish and or read if i don't feel like it which is absolutely fine in my opinion, but I wanted to say hello and maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow.